Hey guys, hey guys, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Welcome back to yet another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Very much welcome. Just in case we've got new viewers, thank you so much for coming. Please subscribe, like, share, and yeah, and leave your comments down on the comment section. Now, you guys, in this video, I want us to talk about a uh, Patrick Shai's son. I see the story that uh, Baba Patrick Shai's eldest son is on DRIUGs and he's a homeless man. Now, this is very heartbreaking, you guys. I, I see the picture there, Oga Babu Shai and uh, his son. The story is, is by Pilano Mzila Gazmoja, you guys. But Baba Patrick Shai's son is back on drugs and he's claiming that Ukutibam Koshilenglini and the fact that he is the one who found his father uh, hanging. Remember, you guys, Baba Patrick Shai committed suicide. If you do remember, he passed away in Linakanga City of Senville. He committed suicide where he was found by a family member, of which now we get to find out it was his eldest son, Usi Shaba Shai, who found his father hanging. And now he claims that with that picture has really never went away of him finding his father hanging and he always sees him in his sleep into Iganjalo, you guys. And uh, when he was chased away and Lini by Umama Shai, he really wanted to go there because we got someone with him. That picture of his father hanging, something like that, was gonna go away because he couldn't sleep. And now this guy is said to be back on the DRUGs and on the streets uh, uh, somewhere in Dobsonville a shopping center, helping Abantaba Tenga to push the trolleys for them, something like that, so that he can get money to buy the DRUGs rugs and food it's a heartbreaking story you guys now i see the story i'm like oh no i'm very very much interested because i remember how baba shai passed away mm, yeah i do remember because that was a very sad story so Patrick shai now his son he said to be the eldest son is the one who found his father hanging and uti he's struggling he's now big on the drugs and he's actually asking for help because maybe he can recover and be yeah, that man again and as you guys now uh patrick shai's son big on drgs and he's a homeless man now uh sichaba shai is big on the streets uh, after he just relapsed utena please help me i need to go to a rehab before it's too late these are the words of the late actors um patrick shai's son usichaba who is 42 and now lives on the streets claiming that his father's death is the reason he is back on the drugs now sichaba was surviving by pushing through is for shoppers at a supermarket at Midlands a mall in Soweto was clean for two years before he relapsed in July 2023. Now, it will place the source which made up with Usichaba. This week told to Zimoja that the eldest son of the legendary actor claimed that he was kicked out of his family home in Dobsonville by his mother, Omasi Chaba Shai, who was head when I saw him in that state. This guy used to look so good and looked like Bob Mabena and he is very intelligent. Now he looks like a hobo because of the DRUGs. It's really sad. Now, according to the source, Usi Chaba manages to buy food and DRUGs with the money he makes from pushing trolleys for the shoppers. The picture that I see there is very heartbreaking. Now the source further said that Sichaba claimed that another reason that led him to relapse and start taking a nyaope and the crystal meth was the death of his father. Shai died from the apparent suicide at his home in Dobsonville in January 2022 at the age of 65. At the time, Sichaba was clean for over a year and said in a media interview that his father's death motivated him to stay clean. His greatest wish was uh, for me to be a proper family man irrespective of um, whatever field I go, I go into. Now, the source said Usi Chaba was the one who found his father hanging in their family garage when the legendary actor ended his life two years ago. He said he never received any counseling from that ordeal and that his father still visits him in his sleep. He said uh, he sees him every day when he goes to sleep and that is the reason uh, he did not fight when his mother kicked him out of the house. He just wanted to stay away from the house, hoping that the nightmares will end. It's really sad, you guys. Now, speaking to Zimochus, Chaba said he did not have much to say, but pleaded for help to go to rehab and change his life. But I want to be clean and go back to uh, to being a part of Aquanelli Foundation, where I was heading the office of Aquanelli and Caesar, uh, uh, educating others on issues of DRUGs and substance abuse. Please help me before it's too late. Uh, that's Usi Chaba. Umasi Chaba Shai couldn't be reached for a comment because as her phone rang and rang and answered. It's a sad story, you guys, with actually Usi Chaba is back on the DRUGs and his story is, is a sad story, you guys. Remember, 
imagine being you who found your father hanging and now your father keeps on coming on your dreams and you keep on seeing you guys like it's really bad now the guy is back on the DRHs because he just wanted to go there because he was hoping that they not me would go I do not know because whenever you go, if you still you see someone in your dreams, they'll still come on your dreams. You guys, no matter where you are, I mean that was your parents, something like that. It's so sad. His story is very sad. The fact that now he's big on the DRIGs. Oh, you guys, a shame. If you look at the picture, it's so sad, hey. But now the guy is asking for help. At least we have when we have when we change him to and go back to his normal life. And the fact that he's the eldest son. Oh my way, you guys. He's supposed to be now the leader of the family. And I beg, I want to know something like that. But he's the one now who's on the streets, pushing trolleys for shoppers, something like that. You guys, oh no, it's such a sad story. But uh, this is Usi Chaba Shai, the son of Wab Patrick Shai, who also passed away by committing a suicide. You guys, he's back on the DRG to same guy, you guys, and oh no, you guys, what's happening to people? Mar, Mar, what's happening to our celebrities? It's so sad. But anyways, if there's not a conversation like the video, subscribe because then I meet you again on my next upload. Bye.